What's up, guys? This is Dave from DraftDashboard.com. Here are my DFS picks for NFL Week 4. These picks apply for DraftKings and FanDuel. Before I get started, please drop a like on this video and hit that red subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you don't miss our new videos. All right, let's dive into the quarterback position. The top QB on my list this week is Jalen Hurts from the Philadelphia Eagles playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. Jalen Hurts is projected at 20 fantasy points, and he has a salary of 7,200 on DraftKings. Over his last three games, he scored 16, 25, and 19 points. Despite some struggles in the last game where he had a fumble and an interception, he remains a strong pick. According to the article, Hertz accomplished something Monday night that he hadn't done in 26 consecutive NFL games, which indicates he's pushing his limits. At 100 dash rank, Hertz is undoubtedly a must-have in your lineup this week. His ownership percentage is yet to be determined, but considering his consistent performance, he is likely to be a popular pick. For a value quarterback pick, let's take a look at Jacoby Brissett from the New England Patriots playing the San Francisco 49ers, who have a middling defense against QB opponents. Brissett's salary is 5,000 on DraftKings, and he's projected at 11 fantasy points. His recent scores have been 4, 11, and 8 points. While his performance has been underwhelming, Brissett has been at the forefront of the Patriots' campaign and might surprise us this week. He could be an under-the-radar pick given his low dash rank of 72 and low projected ownership. Now, moving on to the running backs. Saquon Barkley from the Philadelphia Eagles is my top choice. Barkley is going up against the Buccaneers, who have a middle-of-the-pack defense overall. He's projected at 18 fantasy points with a salary of 8,000 on DraftKings. Barkley has been explosive, scoring 37, 18, and 36 fantasy points in his last three games. NFL analyst even blamed Eagles HC Nick Sirianni for a dropped catch that hurt Barkley's stats, but that shows how integral Barkley is to the Eagles' offense. Given his consistent high-scoring and favorable matchup, he's a solid pick this week. If you're looking to save some salary at the running back position, you should consider Travion Williams from the Cincinnati Bengals, playing the Carolina Panthers, who have one of the absolute worst defenses overall. His salary is just 4000 on DraftKings with a low dash rank of 40. Although he's yet to score any fantasy points, this matchup could provide an opportunity for him to shine. He's a high-risk, high-reward kind of pick for those who want to gamble on potential low-ownership sleepers. Let's talk wide receivers. My top pick is Nico Collins from the Houston Texans playing against Jacksonville, who have one of the worst defenses overall and give up plenty of fantasy points to opposing WRs. Nico is projected at 17 fantasy points and has a salary of 7,200 on DraftKings. He's averaged 21 points per game, scoring 13, 31, and 21 in his last three games. After the incident where he was flagged for unsportsmanlike conduct during the Bears game, Collins gained a lot of support from NFL fans, showing his strong presence on the field. He's a great pick with high upside. For a value-wide receiver, look at DeAndre Carter from the Chicago Bears going up against the LA Rams, who have the absolute worst defense overall. Carter's salary is 3,200 on DraftKings, projected at six fantasy points. He scored five, six, and two points in his last three games. While his output hasn't been very high, the favorable matchup against a weak defense makes him an attractive low-cost option. Next, the tight end position. Mike Gesicki from the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Carolina Panthers is a solid pick. The Panthers have one of the worst defenses overall, specifically poor against tight ends. Jessicki's salary is 3,500 with a dash rank of 94, projected at 9 fantasy points. He scored 9, 16, and 5 fantasy points in his last three games. With a favorable matchup and steady usage, he's worth a look in your lineup. Looking for a value tight end? Check out Eric All Jr. from the Cincinnati Bengals, also playing the Panthers. His salary is only 2,500 on DraftKings with a dash rank of 36. He's projected at three fantasy points, but has scored six, seven, and zero points in his last few games. He's a real budget play, but could benefit from the favorable matchup against a porous defense. For the flex position, my top choice is Chris Godwin from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers playing the Philadelphia Eagles. The Eagles have a weak defense against WRs, giving Godwin a great opportunity to shine. 
He's projected at 16 fantasy points and has scored 17, 28, and 22 points in his last three games. With a salary of 6,800 on DraftKings, he is a strong flex option with high potential for return on investment. Finally, let's discuss the defense. The Jets playing against the Denver Broncos, who have one of the worst offenses overall, make for a solid defensive play. The Jets' defense has a dash rank of 100 and are projected at 11 fantasy points. Considering the weak opponent and their low ownership of 3.2%, comma, the Jets present a strategic pick for bolstering your lineup's defensive strength. If you're tight on salary, the Patriots at 2,400 on DraftKings are playing the San Francisco 49 ERs. They've shown flashes of solid defensive play and are projected at 8 fantasy points with a dash rank of 51. Their recent fantasy points of 2, 3, and 11 could provide some value in a low-scoring defensive struggle. With an ownership percentage of 4.8%, comma, they could be a low-cost option with some upside. So there you have it, my top picks for this week. Remember, you can try all these daily fantasy tools for yourself by clicking the link in the description of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Comment below with your favorite player for this NFL slate. I love to hear what you guys think. Thanks again and good luck.